Good morning. Today is the 11th day of October in this 2023 year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today we have an overcast day. Uh, no rain in the forecast. Uh, I think the temperatures are coming up a little bit for the, the morning and the day. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, a good day. Uh, and for us, Benita and I, it's a day of preparation. We'll be packing our suitcases and uh, I'll be uh, in uh, signing off for the next uh, three weeks as we'll be traveling to Europe. Not going to be able to post uh, devotions, but I encourage you to uh, find uh, the time that you normally take to spend with me to uh, at least um, begin with moments of silence and reflection. Perhaps uh, open up your scripture and uh, read a random passage and uh, think of what that means to you and uh, close with the Lord's Prayer as we do uh, each day. I think this is probably close to uh, eight, 850 uh, of these uh, little devotional videos and worship services that have been produced uh, since the beginning of COVID. Uh, we'll continue to do so uh, when we return and uh, I hope that uh, you have uh, a good experience in the balance of this day. Um, we begin, uh, of course, this day with our continued prayers and thoughts for the people of Israel, the people in the Gaza Strip where war rages and uh, devastation continues to take place, for the peoples of the Ukraine who are defending their homeland and uh, seeking their own uh, freedom and uh, reclaiming their own land from Russian invasion. Uh, so we uh, pray and trust that, uh, that holding them in our thoughts and prayers will, will have some impact uh, and uh, the rest will fall into place. Uh, we begin with a, a prayer. <clears throat> o oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayer, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good things without your aid. Grant us the help of your grace, that keeping your commandments, we may please you in both will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. From the, the, four, uh, the third chapter of John. Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Christ is the center. When Moses lifted up the snake on a pole, many Israelites disapproved of God's command to look at it because it wasn't pleasant. Only believing Israelites and no one else understood and were healed because of their faith in the word. Who else but our Lord could have used this story to point to Christ? I never would have been so bold to interpret this story the way Christ did. He explains it by promising to himself and saying, This is the bronze snake, but I am the Son of Man. The Israelites had to look at the snake with their eyes, but you must look at me with the eyes of faith. They were cured of a physical poison, but through me you will be redeemed from an eternal poison. Looking at the snake means believing in me. Their bodies were healed, but I will give eternal life to those who believe in me. These are strange statements and an extraordinary teaching. With these words, the Lord gives us the proper way to interpret the Old Testament. 
He helps us to understand that the writers and prophets of the Old Testament point to Christ with their stories and illustrations. Christ shows us that he is the center point from which the entire circle is drawn. Everyone looks toward him. Whoever follows Christ belongs to the same circle. All the stories of Holy Scripture, if, if they are interpreted correctly, point toward Christ. And let us pray. Lord God, we thank you and praise you for the gift of life and this day, for the opportunities to present you through the words we speak and the actions we enact, to reflect in our lives the very Christ who has brought us hope and salvation. We thank you, O Lord, for the blessings that sustain us in this journey, for life, for health, for shelter, for freedom, for opportunities of interacting with this world that you have blessed us with, to be caregivers of the same. Help us to be good stewards of all entrusted to us, and grant us as we have need all that is needful for the living of this day. We ask for your travel mercies for Benita and I, that we might arrive at our destination safely and traverse the ocean wide on our journey homeward later this month. We ask your benevolent care and love to watch over the troubled lands of Israel, of Palestinian regions such as the Gaza Strip, where there is grave conflict and loss of life. We pray the same that you would continue to abide with the peoples of the Ukraine, sustain them in their effort to retain their land and to obtain freedom from tyranny. We pray, O oh Lord, your hand of healing in the lives of those whom we care for in love, for Miriam, for Evelyn, Rag and James Rag for Evelyn Tompkins, for Elaine and for Nancy, for Judy and her grandson Nathan, for Jenny and Gail and Linda, for Tom, for Nikki, for Lisa, for each that we commend to your loving care, for Donna and Tian and all others remembered in these moments of silence. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, enjoy uh, this day, your life within it. Give thanks for the blessings that are yours. And uh, until we meet again, hasta luego. Peace.